Hi and welcome to TRX Bench. Today here on the bench we have a Yaeso FT847 and uh, the radio came in with a fire up problem. So when you try to fire up your radio it comes up and uh, the display uh, is uh, up and then suddenly it uh, shuts down and uh, yeah you can do it uh, as often as you like so you have always the same problem. So the owner told me that uh, he tried uh, a couple of time ago a mass modification here on the, ra on the radio and uh, when he has uh, had finished the uh, modification then suddenly he had uh, this symptom. So he thought, hmm, maybe that uh, I did something wrong with uh, the mass modification. So he take uh, the modification out and uh, put back the radio to uh, factory standard. But uh, that uh, didn't uh, help. So, you know, um, he was not able to bring the radio back to life. Okay, so therefore first of course uh, we have to inspect um, the modification or better where the modification has been done so if uh, there is uh, everything fine and uh, yeah then we have to deep into we have to deep dive into the problem so let's start and let's see what we can do for this nice radio Okay, and here we have it, and uh, let's try if we can reproduce the problem. Okay, so let's start. Ah, okay. That uh, is exactly what uh, he was telling me. Uh, and you see, it is uh, different, so it is not always the same time obviously and the radio is uh, operative so you've seen I can change the frequency which uh, is a good uh, sign and uh, I can change uh, the volume and uh, well Maybe we are really lucky that uh, it is not a problem with, um, you know, the modification. So maybe uh, it is a known uh, issue. I mean, there are some known is issues with the radio. One uh, is uh, that uh, there are problems here with the power switch. And uh, if we are lucky, maybe um, it is uh, more the power switch. Uh, because it looks like that, you know, the, um, the processor uh, is working because otherwise um, I normally would not be able uh, to change anything. But I can. In the short while where the radio is on, you see I'm able to operate it. And that, you know, um, gives a little bit uh, hope because otherwise if uh, something went uh, badly wrong with some mass modification so you know um, it uh, is very close to the main processor and uh, well you know it might be that uh, um, uh, the guy has shorted out uh, the processor which uh, really would be um, a nightmare but maybe it is not that kind uh, of problem if it is really uh, you know and now you see it is not working at all so that is not consequently uh, pointing to you know the processor so maybe we are lucky and you see sometimes we have the reset sometimes not so that is uh, funny as well. Yeah, now you have seen it uh, holds it and now it is gone. So mm, that all might be really something different and not consequently uh, our 
a processor or everything uh, what uh, is um, hanging together with uh, the processor. So mm, let's crack open the radio and let's hope and uh, finger cross that uh, we do not have, uh, you know, um, a blown um, processor. Okay, and uh, here we have uh, our control board and uh, well, uh, we see here our lithium uh, battery and under the lithium uh, battery we uh, have here our main uh, processor and uh, I've been told that uh, the lithium uh, battery has been uh, swapped out as well and uh, well, what we see here is wire which is here hanging in the breeze um, so that it's not connected and uh, you know normally the bridges are down there and uh, yeah let's uh, check it under the microscope to uh, get a better impression uh, what's going on here and uh, then we decide how to go ahead, right? Okay, so that is uh, now uh, the situation on a board and uh, yeah, we have here our wire and uh, we well, don't know yet if uh, yeah, it looks like that uh, we lost here uh, a pet I mean it looks like because uh, yeah we have here an interruption so that is uh, for sure right um, well other than that yeah sure uh, we have definitely uh, here some bad uh, and uh, dry solder joints so yeah it is definitely not uh, the best solder work uh, in the world but uh, on the other end I have definitely seen uh, more worse uh, situations so I mean yeah it is uh, not really good and uh, we all uh, hope that uh, we do not have uh, a heavy uh, short to ground because uh, when I try to take here a little bit uh, the tape uh, away let me see you uh, can uh, see that uh, we have here of course uh, our our uh, processor right and uh, we all really do not hope that uh, a short to ground may have killed um, uh, the CPU or minimum a portion of it which is of course always uh, possible so you never can uh, guarantee it because this is really uh, critical so therefore I always uh, recommend to do uh, such jobs uh, better um, in a shop who are familiar with uh, doing uh, jobs like uh, this. Okay, so first um, I think uh, it might be a good idea to check uh, exactly out uh, what uh, this means here, okay? Uh, I mean uh, there is interruption so uh, the trace is gone and uh, we need uh, to replace it uh, but uh, on the other hand not sure if uh, that is really doing um, something or, or has uh, to do something with the problem. Um, I mean if there is no short um, then okay uh, the uh, wanted uh, bands and frequencies might be uh, different but uh, not really sure if uh, that uh, has something to do with uh, our problem so we will go step for step and uh, we really hope that uh, we can rescue this uh, nice radio here
Okay, before we go ahead, uh, I just wanted to check out here the switch and uh, you see here uh, that somebody already uh, tried to, to work here on the switch as well so and uh, well with the same result uh, so no good uh, solder connections uh, yeah so you know uh, solder connections like uh, this are more and more uh, more or less uh, senseless so yeah that is here well really not the best uh, what uh, you can do anyways um, so that uh, is definitely bad and uh, I have to take off here of course uh, first uh, the wires um, until we really can go ahead right what I also found here on the board is that uh, here this is uh, normally a little switch right and uh, this switch uh, yeah you can uh, the backup uh, battery switch in or out and uh, yeah the switch is uh, gone broken so we uh, do have uh, the contacts uh, down uh, here so that means that uh, it is no wonder that uh, we have lost the memory so we have seen uh, it when we was uh, checking it uh, first time because uh, you know it is now um, disconnected and you see here is a damage from uh, the solder iron and uh, yeah so that uh, is gone um, as well so right yeah there are here and there um, some uh, damage marks and uh, well I really think first uh, what we should do we really should uh, take care here on uh, what we have here on the board to uh, bring it back into the right uh, position yeah and then we really need uh, to see um, what uh, the impact is um, because uh, otherwise it uh, does not make sense to go ahead with uh, any farther uh, troubleshooting right okay so for our first approach uh, we do not need to replace uh, the traces I mean uh, we clearly see that uh, the traces are gone here but um, according to uh, our manual uh, the factory setting is one uh, is uh, open which it is simply by the lost uh, trace here uh, two is closed and uh, that is closed here by the solder uh, blob here and uh, no interruption so far three is open four is open five is closed and six is closed so um, and uh, we see that uh, we do not have uh, any uh, interruptions here so that means um, as it is now uh, even if we do not have uh, fixed here the traces it is uh, as it has been done in factory so that means no mass modification in and uh, that uh, I guess is a good starting point uh, to really go ahead right well yeah and by saying a good starting point uh, we did some uh, further inspection and uh, well so what uh, do we have down uh, here so what you uh, clearly see we uh, have down here on the board there a through hole resistor which uh, should not be there right and uh, what you can see as well that uh, we have board uh, damages uh, as well here and uh, of course have a look so that here is uh, really not good so normally we uh, should see over there 
um, an SMD part and uh, I do not have an idea why uh, this has been done. Um, I'm, you know, a little bit unhappy with it because uh, as you see uh, this is here very close uh, to our X1001 uh, which uh, is our reference uh, oscillator, right? Without the reference oscillator nothing will work here in our radio and I really do not know um, what has happened here and uh, why this uh, have been done so that is uh, definitely no good idea and uh, yeah let me check uh, what uh, this uh, resistor normally uh, should be so therefore let's have a look uh, in our schematic and uh, then let's uh, try to understand what uh, this uh, resistor uh, does okay so that is here our PCB uh, view and uh, you see here, ah, that is uh, here our master uh, oscillator so that is uh, the reference uh, let me enlarge it here a little bit and uh, then uh, you see uh, beside here our uh, master uh, we have here R1109 and uh, yeah let's check because uh, there is no connection and there we have our um, through hole uh, resistor on the board and uh, let, uh, let's check uh, what uh, this uh, means so we have to go to uh, our schematic alright and uh, what we see here so here's our master uh, oscillator with um, yeah finally here that uh, is the oscillator the Q10 uh, 34 and then buffer and uh, amplifier and what have we and uh, finally we have here our ref uh, out and uh, additional to that uh, we have here uh, a PLL um, and uh, the ref uh, frequency which is picked here obviously is going down here as uh, master reference to this uh, Q1011 which uh, is of course um, you know our or one of uh, the PLL uh, circuit so we have more not only one anyways um, and then we have seen that uh, we uh, have our R1011 uh, right which uh, has been replaced by a through hole resistor and uh, let's uh, zoom in here a little bit that uh, we may better see what's uh, going on and now it's getting much clearer so the R1109 uh, uh, is a 100 ohm resistor and uh, it uh, feeds here uh, our oscillator transistor right with uh, our crystal uh, over here and uh, that here is uh, definitely our um, voltage supply for our reference uh, oscillator and due to the fact that uh, this uh, resistor here is uh, not connected our oscillator can't work and uh, so uh, we should not see any reference uh, frequency at uh, finally here our uh, reference uh, output and that is what uh, we uh, can uh, check and uh, yeah then we have to decide how we go ahead okay back to the situation here on the board and uh, what uh, we see here is uh, that uh, we um, have here our ref out you should be able uh, to read it here on the board so that is ref out right and uh, there is uh, our funny through hole resistor and uh, wait a minute so that is a uh, 2.2 K and uh, in our schematic it is telling us that uh, it is it is let me double check uh, our 10 
um, where is it? Our 11 ohm is 100 ohms, so that is uh, beside the fact that uh, we do not have a contact here, right? Um, it uh, also means that uh, definitely it is a wrong uh, size. Yeah, so it should be 100 ohm and uh, not 2.2 uh, .2 kilo. I don't know if it is a modification or what. I don't know, and I really wonder what uh, this is here. So that is uh, definitely a problem as well. So there should be a VR, I believe, and I really do not know what. Uh, yeah, you know what does it mean here? So that is funny. Anyways, what we can do is we can uh, go down here to uh, our ref output, and we can test here. Um, in the short moment where uh, the radio um, is firing up and we have seen that the radio basically is operative uh, for the time where you know uh, the radio is up and uh, we know that our voltages are coming up and everything so um, we should read uh, at least for a short while um, our reference uh, frequency and that is what uh, we're gonna check right now Okay, so um, of course now I go down here with my probe to the ref uh, output and uh, you see a little bit uh, that uh, there is uh, additional noise on our zero line. You can uh, see that already, uh, but still the radio is switched uh, off and now let me uh, switch it on and you hear the click and the radio is firing up and then it is going out so that is our old game and I'm already down at uh, our ref uh, output and you see we do not get our reference uh, frequency out uh, of the radio and I mean that could be already an indication um, or a hint why the radio is uh, completely uh, switching off after a short while uh, simply because the radio is not getting it uh, reference frequency and without the reference uh, frequency um, there is nothing really working so the completely PLL uh, circuit the VCOs and what have we nothing will work without uh, our reference uh, oscillator so that is definitely a first uh, fold uh, what uh, we have here in the radio right so that means um, we uh, go now uh, of course uh, down here to the board and uh, we uh, we take this uh, resistor off so that is you know no good and uh, we try to uh, repair it um, with the SMD uh, resistor I hope that uh, the board is not that much destroyed that uh, it is not possible uh, any longer so let's go for that first okay so here uh, we see the situation on the board and yeah uh, as you clearly uh, see uh, so it is uh, really uh, no fun so what is this is this is it uh, shorting out here something um, to ground uh, I don't know so we have uh, definitely to remove uh, this and I mean uh, okay this is here really um, fun right and uh, I don't know what uh, this here uh, will be is it um, a capacitor which is uh, connected to ground here which uh, is normally not there is it a kind of modification I really don't know so the best uh, what we can do um, first is uh, that uh, we try to remove it as uh, you know carefully uh, as possible uh, not to destroy any more or more as uh, uh, already is destroyed and uh, then let's see if uh, we have a chance to rebuild it a little bit but uh, for the moment in time it is definitely a nightmare it is really 
no fun what we see here okay so i have removed uh, the components here from uh, the board but uh, you see how uh, heavily uh, it all is uh, damaged so that is here where you know that is a, a veer here and uh, i really don't know uh, if we can uh, rescue here uh, the veer and uh, i do not really see uh, where here our second uh, connection is so normally we uh, should have here a resistor in but uh, all the pets are gone and uh, here uh, i have no idea what uh, the guy have uh, tried uh, here so that uh, was or should have been um, you know a repair for this uh, uh, trace uh, which uh, is damaged here but uh, as you can see um, I mean uh, uh, it is uh, here somewhat uh, touching uh, this plane here and uh, I do not know uh, if uh, it makes uh, contact so that uh, all is definitely uh, a nightmare and uh, you know and in this situation uh, has not been told by the owner I mean he told me that uh, he tried uh, the mass modification and uh, he said yeah uh, some problems uh, uh, in that area but uh, he uh, didn't uh, tell me that uh, he or somebody else I don't know tried uh, maybe a modification or whatever I really don't know and uh, he uh, didn't tell me that uh, there is more damage here on uh, the board and maybe that uh, this uh, damage here is uh, more serious than what we have seen around uh, the processor where we have here our little um, bridges for the different uh, frequencies right so i don't know but uh, i need to try to fix it here somehow but Oh, I can't promise anything so far. Yeah, and uh, the situation is already that horrible that uh, I definitely uh, do not get um, a connection here. This uh, VR uh, is uh, not... Uh, so I'm not able to get uh, any contact here so that uh, I can uh, solder it. So that means uh, we really do have uh, already a huge uh, issue here. Uh, and uh, you see here we uh, have definitely uh, the same uh, issue. I don't know if uh, we really can get here any contact. So normally uh, our component was here, but that is not possible any longer. And uh, I don't know if uh, I can get here any contact when I touch it here with uh, my solder iron. So I really only can uh, repeat what I have said already so often. Don't touch SMD work if you do not have the right tools and if you do not have uh, experience with it. It is, you know, you're really damaging everything. And uh, I do not know yet if uh, I will be able to fix it and we do not know if that uh, is uh, the only problem because when I go a little bit uh, over here you see another one which uh, I haven't seen uh, before uh, I mean this here seems to be uh, ground um, but uh, what has happened here I mean why uh, do we have here you know a ground pl uh, a ground uh, solder blob um, and I do not see what uh, has been done here but you know everything could uh, has happened here to the board so that uh, we finally ends up into a no fix uh, situation and even it, it is only because uh, it is uh, economically not worse to go on any deeper I mean uh, Guys, please don't touch it if you do not have the right tools, really. 
Okay, and uh, what you see here is uh, I uh, try uh, finally to um, rebuild uh, the through by uh, putting here a new little wire through it. You see it? And now I try uh, to solder it here onto the original uh, trace. I think I have to cut it just a little bit uh, because you see it is already loose and uh, that uh, is uh, moving back and forth which uh, is definitely no good idea. So now I really try to do my very best to get it somehow here connected uh, to this trace and then uh, second step will be on the other side uh, of course we try to uh, you know uh, connect it uh, with uh, wherever we need or wherever uh, this uh, veer need uh, to go to right so that will be the next step okay so maybe we are lucky and uh, this will work now uh, I have to uh, flip over the board and uh, I have to try to uh, put the connection on uh, the other solder point to uh, get the connection right. Okay, so that is the working condition with uh, my uh, mic microscope. And now let's uh, here go over to the situation on the board. And uh, you see where our little wire is uh, getting through. And uh, of course, uh, now I have to try to move it uh, over here to, yeah, looks like a little resistor, right? And uh, we need to try to uh, solder it uh, here directly to the resistor. And uh, we really hope the best that that will uh, establish the needed connection. And let's hope that uh, by the short we obviously had before uh, no damage uh, has really occurred, right? Okay, so that is uh, what it looks like uh, now and uh, let me try here to get uh, off here the rest uh, of our little wire and uh, as you can see now it is uh, connected back here to uh, the resistor where it uh, has to be and yeah, next step, uh, of course, uh, will be that uh, yeah we have to check it uh, on the other side, and then we need to re-establish uh, our second um, our second uh, defective uh, trace, right? And this side uh, still looks good, so that uh, is uh, solid. I mean, it is uh, not as uh, fancy as it uh, should be but uh, it uh, looks like uh, solid and it is not making here any short uh, to anywhere and now uh, let's take care here on uh, that yeah so that is now the next okay so we know that uh, one uh, side here should be um, yeah plus uh, 8 uh, volt, uh, no not that one, maybe that one, I mean yeah we, we had uh, our resistor here over here and that means that um, yeah one side uh, should be our supply then the resistor and then finally our oscillator transistor right so I just want to see if uh, we still get here uh, a reading and uh, therefore let me reposition the camera okay and now I'm uh, with my probe uh, down at the damaged board and now let me switch the radio on and let's see if uh, we get uh, a voltage over there and yeah so very nice so uh, you probably have uh, seen it and uh, if not let me zoom in because uh, I have my uh, value hold here uh, switched on 
which is very handy. So uh, you see here the last uh, figure is uh, 7.958 so that means that uh, is our 8 volt and it is present uh, for the short moment where uh, the radio is up and then it is dropping uh, down so it is switching off and uh, yeah as I already told if you are very very lucky maybe it is switching off because there is uh, no reference and uh, that could cause uh, the processor um, switching down completely right okay so let's see how we could get uh, managed uh, it and uh, what we uh, have here so that uh, is uh, the original part size and uh, it has been placed uh, yeah, this way but uh, you uh, see that uh, our pets are missing so you know and uh, the part uh, is too small uh, to cover here uh, the distance uh, over so yeah maybe so what we could uh, try is uh, if I take uh, 1206 maybe and that is definitely too big for sure uh, and the edges here are going here over to uh, ground which is definitely no good idea but maybe if uh, I will be able to uh, put here a bigger solder blob on well I have to try it finally but uh, maybe I can then place it here a little bit uh, you know in the air maybe <sighs> or or better take uh, finally the smaller one and try to get the solder blob as big as possible to get somehow a, a connection I mean Bose is uh, definitely not the best uh, what we uh, could do but uh, we need uh, to play uh, a little bit in order to uh, to get it fixed here all right what you see here on the board is uh, a little drill and uh, I have drilled here my little hole through uh, the board and I guess now you can uh, see it because uh, what we have here right uh, here in uh, the field of view is uh, our little oscillator transistor and uh, I have uh, worked uh, my hole here through uh, the PCB which uh, was and is the through uh, here to our collector of our oscillator transistor right and uh, I uh, try uh, to get here a little wire through um, you, our uh, through hole here. Our, uh, is, in fact, it is a via. And uh, what we need uh, to try is uh, to get here now um, a little via, uh, a little wire through the via uh, to be able to solder our little uh, resistor which we already have placed on the other side let me see if I can get here this uh, wire through it and it looks like it looks like uh, that uh, now I was able to uh, get here my wire through the board um, which uh, is really very helpful and uh, yeah let me first solder here on this side and then um, yeah let me try to do it on uh, the other side to uh, finally have um, the right connection okay so the connection has been rebuilt here and uh, I do exactly uh, the same 
what uh, we uh, have seen uh, before. So I need to get this piece of wire here off. And uh, you see how small it is, or no, you cannot really see it. But uh, believe me, it is so small here uh, on the board uh, that is really incredible. And uh, yeah, let me try. Yeah, now the little wire is uh, off, and uh, we uh, see that our connection here looks, yeah, acceptable. It looks acceptable, so we have now a solid uh, connection to our uh, collector of our little oscillator uh, transistor. And now let's uh, go to the other side and let's rebuild um, yeah, the connection to our resistor, right? Okay, so our new little resistor is uh, in, so you can uh, see here that um, our little wire is connected to our R100 uh, ohm and uh, I hope uh, that uh, the connection here on the left side is uh, solid uh, as well so that uh, we get uh, supplied our uh, oscillator transistor finally. Okay, so what we can uh, try now is, so everything is uh, connected back uh, to power supply and so forth. Um, we uh, can try how the behavior is uh, right now. So let's uh, simply switch it on. And yeah, still switching off. So this uh, situation um, has not changed. But uh, let's check if uh, our reference uh, oscillator is working at uh, our pin here where we have uh, tested it before. So here is our ref uh, output and uh, let's, let's uh, test it if uh, we get our ref uh, signal. Okay, so let's try if we can uh, get it both. So I have uh, the probe down here at uh, our ref output and uh, now let's uh, switch it on and hey, have a look. So that uh, is uh, definitely working for uh, the first uh, for the short uh, while and then uh, it is uh, immediate, immediately uh, switching off but uh, that is fixed so let me cl go closer that uh, we can check the frequency okay so now let's uh, yeah let's go a little closer that uh, we can maybe read uh, the frequency which uh, we get and let's see, now I switch it on and it is uh, 40 something, 45, it is 45 uh, hertz, now let me stretch it a little bit, let's see, uh, it's a nice and uh, clear uh, sign, 45 something, so that is behind the doubler I believe. Uh, let me see if I can hold it and uh, uh, not really huh once again okay yeah that is a signal and uh, it is uh, 45 something so let me uh, check if it is good and uh, our 45 something is right so you see here our ref oscillator and uh, you see here the ref uh, output so uh, our crystal is 22.6 uh, something megahertz and then uh, you have here the double R uh, circuit and then it goes out over the buffer to uh, referent out where we have tested so 45 something what uh, we uh, have uh, tested uh, for is uh, right. So that means uh, we have uh, fixed uh, one problem. Um, obviously, the question is uh, by the shorts we had, what uh, has been died uh, additionally? And uh, yeah, you know, that uh, could be anything. So uh, I really have to admit 
I hate it if uh, someone somebody was uh, in before because uh, you never know what uh, has really happened uh, to the radio and uh, yeah as I already said uh, it really can uh, end up in a no fix situation okay and uh, what can we say uh, else I mean um, the situation uh, is uh, still the same so you see it uh, is uh, shutting uh, down but uh, for the short while the radio is on right the radio is fully operative so you can uh, do all you want so the radio is uh, switching and uh, you can uh, control your volume so you can uh, switch between uh, SSB, FM, AM and so forth and so forth so everything is really working without uh, a problem um, except that you know it is uh, shutting down after uh, a few seconds and um, well yeah I have uh, really uh, tested around uh, a little bit here and uh, we have to think about um, the question when uh, does a processor shut down right and uh, of course there are some events uh, which are happening uh, around uh, the processor uh, I mean besides the fact that uh, the processor itself could be uh, faulty um, but um, if uh, we focus on uh, the other uh, events which could um, let the processor shut down we uh, have to say that uh, the first which uh, is known for producing such uh, faults is if uh, the communication does not work I mean the communication between uh, here our main uh, processor which is uh, down there right and uh, of course uh, our front panel processor right so this both uh, processors needs to communicate to each other to um, exchange the informations because um, simply your volume control is uh, not only uh, a volume control a pure um, analog volume control as you know it it is uh, more um, an analog information which is taken from somewhere and then put to an analog digital a converter and uh, this information is then going to the main processor and the main processor will tell um, a digital analog converter what the setting for your volume should be and that is uh, how it works and uh, saying that um, looking onto our block diagram might help and I will uh, enlarge it um, in a sec so uh, just for your information this here is uh, our main processor and uh, this here is our front panel processor right and now let me uh, enlarge it a little bit that uh, we uh, can uh, see it better and uh, here this is uh, the portion uh, of our front panel um, processor right and uh, what you easily uh, uh, can see for instance uh, what I've told you here's our um, uh, a, uh, AF which uh, is our volume uh, control and uh, you see of course this is a, a normal uh, potentiometer but um, it is only taken uh, you know the value of uh, the DC which uh, is here at uh, our middle pin of uh, the pot and uh, that will be converted to uh, digital information and you see here is a bus going uh, to our front panel um, processor and then the information will go here over this serial uh, data bus right over here and uh, let us uh, following along um, it will go over here to uh, our main processor and uh, we will uh, get uh, the information right here and you see 
it is uh, 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 TX um, and uh, RX uh, data. So that means that is information from, you know, um, the front uh, processor back and forth to here our main processor. And if we do something at uh, our front panel, it will be digitized and then it will be uh, going via uh, a serial bus here to uh, our front uh, processor, right? And uh, if that, for instance, is not working so that uh, our front panel uh, is not answering or the other way around, then that uh, is uh, something what a processor will let the radio shut down, right? And therefore it is uh, always very, very important to check if finally the communication is there, right? Yeah, and that is uh, something we can test. So that is here uh, our connector, which uh, is uh, finally uh, connecting uh, our main processor with our front uh, panel uh, processor. And uh, yeah, let me uh, show you here uh, our um, patterns. All right, and uh, that what you can see here is uh, exactly uh, how the both uh, processors are commu communicating uh, to each other. So, uh, for instance, this here is uh, our main processor, which uh, is uh, giving some uh, startup, uh, startup information right uh, to the front panel. And uh, then, of course, here you see our front panel uh, is answering. And uh, therefore, you know that uh, both uh, processors are really communicating to each other and that means this uh, communication lines uh, is uh, good. And of course we uh, can uh, simulate it uh, live and uh, still have my probes down at uh, our communication uh, connector, right? And now I uh, press uh, our on-off switch and uh, yeah, you have uh, now seen how, uh, you know, our uh, processor is uh, finally uh, communicating. And uh, that means uh, our front panel and main processor communication is just fine. And I mean, that uh, um, fits uh, to what uh, we uh, have found uh, earlier, that uh, the radio is completely operative so that uh, I can dial the frequency that I can adjust uh, the, co the volume control that I can switch uh, between FM, AM and uh, SSB. And uh, what I've tested as well is that uh, the radio will receive. So I can put my um, communication test to the radio and uh, there is a frequency. We have seen it maybe in the display. Uh, it is um, set to 144 megahertz. And when I feed in uh, 144 megahertz, then of course um, the radio will receive. Okay, the next uh, what uh, is also very important is uh, our EEPROM, right? So, you know, uh, here we have uh, our datas and uh, the datas will get uh, loaded to our processor and uh, there are all the basic informations, all the basic settings which uh, get loaded uh, um, into the main processor and uh, if needed, of course, those informations are going into uh, the front panel um, processor as well. So that uh, is, uh, uh, as you like, your basic uh, memory where everything is stored into. And if, uh, you know, the communication lines between our EEPROM and uh, the processor are uh, not uh, working or if the, maybe the EEPROM itself is uh, faulty, then of course that could mean a shutdown, right? And down here on uh, our PCB, this here is our front panel, right? And uh, right beneath that is our EEPROM. By the way, I'm uh, always uh, viewing here my uh, ESD uh, protection uh, because you can simply kill 
uh, your radio with um, ESD uh, pods if uh, you don't uh, wear it uh, so that is very crucial don't forget it uh, when you handle here with uh, you know uh, processors and uh, such and uh, anyways uh, here our uh, EEPROM can be tested in the same way how we uh, have tested uh, our um, our data communication line because uh, it is simply the same you have a communication between your uh, EEPROM and the processor and uh, those you will be able to uh, uh, test this as well and uh, I can tell you it is working just fine the next uh, what is uh, also very often suspect is uh, the uh, data uh, communication over the data select here so that is a bus which uh, goes here onto this uh, selector and uh, you can send uh, then information individually to in this case uh, a multiplexer right so that means you get uh, a data stream uh, to the multiplexer and the multiplexer will give out um, an operating signal towards uh, wherever you need it so for instance uh, here uh, you see uh, that uh, we are switching here um, an electronic uh, switch and therefore you need here a value so that is uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what is it uh, it is um, a positive uh, voltage and uh, with uh, this voltage you can for instance when we go over here um, I hope I can find it now yeah you can see it here so that is here uh, an electronic uh, switch right and you see here AM SSB FM CW and that is switching which way is uh, needed for your communications right yeah and uh, of course uh, I have tested uh, it uh, as well and uh, since we uh, get here over uh, this uh, switch uh, our incoming uh, signals right so for instance uh, I've told you that I can easily uh, receive uh, a signal uh, loud and clear and uh, of course um, either way uh, if it is uh, AM or uh, if it is uh, AM FF, FM or SSB um, you know it uh, has to go here uh, over this electronic uh, switch and uh, then uh, of course uh, it uh, goes uh, finally over uh, here to our uh, audio uh, amplifier right so if um, you know the multiplexer and the switch and uh, the processor itself uh, would uh, not uh, um, work minimum partially then uh, we would not be able to receive the signal and we would not be able to switch between um, for instance FM, AM, SSB, whatever, right? So um, that uh, gives uh, us an idea on uh, what is going on. And then additional uh, to that uh, always uh, very uh, important is uh, our PLL really uh, working and uh, our PLL circuit is uh, finally here on uh, another PCB and uh, as uh, always uh, we uh, have here uh, data lines uh, here into uh, our radio and um, ah, you cannot see it here uh, is uh, the input from uh, our controller board where we have uh, our, con uh, our uh, processor right it goes here into our um, PLL unit and uh, it is controlled everything is controlled via our bus system right and uh, we can test uh, the bus uh, the same way uh, I've uh, shown you uh, how it works here on uh, front panel main, po uh, main uh, processor communication. It is definitely the same, uh, so we can check uh, all the data. And uh, well, since we can receive 
simply for a short while we know that the entire PLL circuit is working as well, right? So that uh, is uh, for sure. Okay, and uh, let me demonstrate uh, what uh, I mean. So uh, the radio is uh, when we switch it on without backup uh, battery because battery is uh, off simply due to the fact that I uh, was able to test uh, at uh, our processor, right? Um, we um, it, it comes up on uh, 144 megahertz so that must be a kind uh, of uh, factory setting whatever and uh, now when I'm uh, fast enough switching it in right and then changing from upper sideband to FM you hear that uh, the radio is uh, really uh, receiving loud and clear so you have uh, heard it that uh, we are really able uh, to uh, let here our radio uh, receive and we can adjust the audio level if I go down here with the audio level do the same you hear it is uh, then uh, reduce the volume so we really can uh, fully operate uh, the radio and uh, that is telling me that uh, the PLL circuit is completely working no problem uh, at all and uh, I have uh, tested it uh, in the short while where uh, we have uh, the receive situation I can test for uh, Synod and the Synod is really excellent so you know it is definitely working just fine very important uh, as well is of course the reset to our processor uh, because without a proper reset uh, your um, radio or your processor itself can't work and uh, the uh, radio or the processor would uh, directly shut down uh, you know the radio so that could be a problem as well and therefore you have to check your uh, reset pulse right and the proper reset uh, that is what you can see here so our yellow is uh, the rising voltage from our uh, voltage regulator you see it is rising and reaching uh, the right uh, value and uh, that is here our output from uh, our reset um, and it's not directly at the reset uh, it is uh, a second uh, test point so therefore we have a little uh, voltage difference here but uh, that is not the problem interesting to see is that uh, the reset um, you know is pulling down the reset input of our processor while already our uh, voltage for the processor is there but still there is a reset at the reset input to really reset uh, the processor that it can work properly and then uh, after our reset uh, time which uh, is approximately um, the, what is it uh, four milliseconds something um, and then you see that uh, our signal is going up and uh, that uh, is a proof that uh, reset is working as well and uh, wherever an external component could pull down our processor like here uh, our Q1100 uh, uh, our keyer here our external which uh, is directly connected uh, to uh, our processor and that could if it is uh, faulty pull down for instance our processor and uh, you can better see it here on the schematic right so uh, this is here our keyer IC um, so uh, the terminal and uh, you see if you follow along this uh, traces here you see that uh, these traces are directly connected to the processor so there is no resistor nothing in between and uh, if you have a faulty IC here it could uh, potentially draw down here our processor which uh, will lead uh, the processor to shut down so 
Therefore, all where we uh, have um, situations like this, uh, I have disconnected um, the periphery, peripheral um, components uh, from the processor to prevent a potentially a broken um, component pulling down our processor. And uh, you can see it if uh, I go down here to our PCB, you uh, can see it here. So that is uh, where this uh, processor normally uh, sits, like uh, so. And um, I've taken it out to make really sure that uh, this component will not pull down here our signals from uh, our processor. So that uh, is uh, not uh, the problem as well. And we have uh, some uh, other, um, you know, components which could uh, infect um, our processor. So for instance here our both uh, DDS uh, ICs which uh, are getting uh, serial data information here from uh, our processor. But you can test here the serial data so that is fine uh, as well. And uh, so this both DDS uh, um, oscillators are working just fine without a problem. And um, therefore you see um, you know everything is uh, just fine. And as I said right at the beginning when we started with uh, this repair um, uh, I mentioned that uh, there are problems known with a uh, power switch. That is true. Uh, and, and you have seen that uh, there uh, we found some uh, funny wires um, where the person whoever did it uh, tried uh, to um, connect both uh, contacts in uh, parallel to uh, better get uh, the um, current uh, flow through the connectors because yeah we know it is a problem but in uh, our case uh, the switch is just fine it is not uh, the problem uh, the uh, you know this here is uh, the switch connector uh, right uh, on the board and uh, you can directly uh, short this both uh, contacts uh, to uh, get here our radio um, starting up and uh, let me tell you the switch in our case here is just fine no problem the second is if uh, we bridge here our plus line which uh, is going here over this relay right so sometimes uh, this relay is doing uh, some um, nasty uh, things that is not the problem we can uh, here connect it and we can bridge it and uh, the processor is shutting down as uh, we have seen it and then there are some uh, funny things here with uh, our connectors here so that uh, our fuses which are in the line are making trouble so that we have bad contacts that is not the case here in our um, with our radio so you can connect uh, your power supply directly here to the pins no that is not the problem then there is it is known that uh, some power supplies are making trouble at uh, this radius we know that and therefore I have tried uh, different uh, power supplies no change and uh, I have uh, put here my lap uh, battery to the radio to have absolutely clean voltages here at uh, our radio no chance so you see uh, really uh, we have uh, done everything to make sure that uh, you know the circuit itself is just fine and uh, I can tell you um, I have not uh, told you everything uh, I've tested um, so you can see uh, there is another IC taken out over there um, and uh, that is a uh, SSB detector and I know something is wrong here with uh, our SSB uh, detector but uh, that has not nothing to do 
um, with uh, our problem that uh, the radio is shutting down. So, conclusion here uh, from uh, my side is we know that uh, the owner uh, worked here uh, on the processor for um, uh, mass modification, so that is what we uh, did uh, in the beginning. So uh, we have here lost uh, traces and pets and so on. And uh, we have seen that uh, something uh, was uh, very funny here with uh, our uh, reference uh, oscillator which uh, we fixed. So we see that um, yeah, somebody was uh, really working here in the radio and uh, tried, I don't know really what he tried, but uh, he destroyed. Um, yeah, you know, he destroyed something. And uh, my conclusion is that uh, maybe while uh, all this work uh, has been done, uh, an ASD pulse uh, hits uh, our processor, uh, because I have seen uh, processors which uh, get an uh, IS, uh, ESD uh, pulse and uh, just stopped working partially. So you have uh, a lot of uh, working functions. I've seen that uh, I think uh, five, six times. So that uh, you know you have uh, the processor working in some regard, but um, you have one portion which uh, is not working probably, probably. and uh, I believe that uh, we have a similar situation here with uh, our main uh, processor that uh, it uh, died uh, partially. The problem with uh, the radio, even uh, it uh, don't uh, look like um, a vintage radio, it is a vintage radio, so uh, first it came out I believe in 1995 uh, so that means uh, the radio uh, is uh, more than uh, or not more it is uh, almost 25 uh, years uh, on the market and that means um, this radio already has uh, successes and uh, the radio is completely end of service and I mean that is normal you can't uh, always uh, hold uh, a system running from uh, the manufacturer because all the parts and everything uh, he needs to do on support so it is not forever possible and that is the case here so the radio is end uh, of support so you do not get uh, parts and uh, you do not get uh, additional informations so that is uh, really not nice but you know it is an old radio and therefore uh, we uh, cannot get uh, additional help from um, you know Yaesu. So the best uh, in cases uh, like this uh, is uh, trying to get uh, you know a faulty radio uh, maybe from uh, eBay and uh, maybe you can uh, get a board which uh, is working and then you can swap it out because still this uh, radio is uh, nice it is really a nice radio and yeah it is a kind of shame that uh, we do not get uh, uh, parts and uh, what have we so yeah that uh, is not nice but uh, it is um, the reality right so and that is uh, what uh, uh, is the case here with uh, this radio so um, if it would be mine I would try to get an old radio uh, from eBay maybe what is not working maybe I would try to get uh, two or three uh, that uh, I can uh, then rebuild um, simply one which is then uh, completely working uh, so that is uh, from the moment of time the only thing uh, uh, we really can do. But maybe there is uh, someone out there in YouTube land, he or she has an additional idea on um, what uh, this problem is causing. Maybe 
there is uh, something I simply missed and uh, I mean you know that uh, might be uh, as well uh, a case so therefore if you have an additional idea on um, a repair you may have done or you found then uh, simply let me know maybe we uh, can uh, help and uh, we can finally fix the radio but for the moment in time I uh, would really uh, say that uh, everything is pointing here to uh, our processor that uh, we have a partial uh, not working uh, function and that is the reason why uh, it is uh, shutting down yeah um, as I told you that is not all I have tested so there are some more steps uh, I have tested and uh, made uh, sure that uh, it is uh, working so for instance uh, here our uh, voltage uh, regulators which we have down here so they do not uh, collapse when uh, you uh, load them so that is important uh, as well because sometimes uh, you have um, you know uh, voltage regulators which uh, collapse simply when you put a load uh, to it or um, broken uh, uh, audio amplifiers uh, so that uh, is something uh, what is uh, also very nasty but um, in this case it really looks like that uh, everything uh, is fine so if you have an additional idea simply let me know your um, your comments uh, are uh, highly welcome so maybe we uh, can help but uh, eh, I do not really think so but maybe okay anyways that uh, was really a lot of information and I hope that uh, uh, one or the other information might uh, help you uh, with your repairs because if it is not the processor itself everything I have told you can cause uh, a shutdown and uh, you really can check uh, all what I've uh, shown you to uh, find a problem and I would say in 95 or maybe even higher uh, maybe 98 percent you find the problem but what I really have to admit, admit if you do not uh, have the right tools and if you do not have the experience to work on uh, radios uh, like uh, this if you do not work under ESD protection with uh, ESD mat and uh, with all precautions you have to take working on a radius uh, like this um, do you the own favor not uh, to work on radius like this because you simply can kill them and uh, that is uh, what uh, has happened here so after uh, the owner tried the mass modification the radio was uh, exactly showing this behavior and uh, as uh, he was really working very close here at uh, the processor you really do not know uh, what uh, he might have shorted or simply because without uh, ESD protection simply uh, killed he uh, the processor by uh, ESD pulls so you don't know and that is uh, really it is uh, really kind of uh, sad that uh, yeah a nice radio like uh, this is uh, now really lost and I mean without support from Yaesu without uh, parts you know you are really lost okay a lot of talking um, we have to stop here uh, I do not go ahead uh, with the radio but uh, um, yeah I will wait maybe one of you have an idea and uh, hopes that somebody can uh, use all the information and all the hints uh, I have given so let me stop here 
thanks for watching and uh, if you're still here you're really interested in radio repair right so thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time bye